I can hear Co you. Go ahead. Coach, your, your group pulled within one there with a little over two minutes to go. You know, what was the difference down the stretch, uh, how it kind of slipped away? You know, they came up with a ton of 50-50 balls, so you, you have to give them credit for the way in which they play. They play extremely hungry, uh, getting after it, desperate. And so, you know, those 50-50 balls hurt down the stretch, and then, you know, that was a big portion of that down the, down the stretch. What can you say about your second unit able to get you back in the game? Cole Anthony's shooting, obviously, but how did they provide a, a boost tonight? I mean, you saw it. They, they provided a big-time spark. Uh, the way and the pace in which they played, uh, popping, the ball was popping, ball was moving. Uh, shots were going in, and I, I think that was that was a big portion of it. Getting stops to be able to get out and run. For free Small. throws, oh, just real quick, for free throws to be a problem tonight at this point in the year, just what can you do to avoid that in the future, and, and what can you say about the free throws tonight? Uh, we shot 52 percent. That's not good. Uh, I can say that. Uh, I can say that it's a level of concentration. Nobody steps to the free throw line not thinking they're going. to – that they're going to make the shot. I think they step in, you know, wanting to step in with confidence, just more concentration and, and knock them down. We'll get more of that work in tomorrow, watch the film, and go from there. Uh, co coach, coming, starting the game with an 11-point quarter, obviously that's, that's not ideal. What did, what, do you, what did you see from your team to kind of fight back and, and kind of stay, stay in the hunt dis despite that poor start? You know, similar to the Sacramento game, you know, Shots were not falling. Free throws were not falling. Uh, again, it was it wasn't the, it wasn't that it, there were not good looks. Uh, we were getting open and good looks. We missed some at the rim, easy ones at the rim. So I think those levels of concentration we've con continued to get better at, continue to work on. Uh, but being able to stay the course and not let it get too far away from us, uh, those guys did a great job of you know bouncing back in the game uh, and, and you know getting it close, like you said, to a one point game. Two things with AB tonight. One, was it in the game plan or within the flow of the game to kind of get him those early rotational minutes tonight? Combination of both. Uh, I think, you know, you start out thinking about the, the matchups and, you know, being able to guard Chris Paul and, you know, Podemski. I, I think those are situations that you look at um, for, for, for those parts of the game and just being able to get those, you know, those touches, those reps, uh, that, that's part of it. See him, you know, moving forward, just down the stretch now, just getting some more rotational minutes as we ramp up to the postseason. I think it's gonna, you know, it's gonna be uh, constant changing um, pieces, just because of what we have. Guys coming back in, guys coming back out. These are a lot of times why it happens. But he's going to continue to stay ready uh, and you know play the part that we've asked him to continue to play with this within this group. Jamal, this is another game against a experienced, high quality opponent. Um, what do you think your guys might have learned from this loss? We just continue to stay poised regardless of what's happening. And again, it comes down to the little things in this situation. And that the big portion of that tonight was our free throws. You know, the free throw line shooting 54, 52%, and then, you know, turning it over 11 times for, for 19 points. Those, those live ball turnovers hurt because then they get it early, easy baskets, you know. But you got to tip your hat for the way in which they came out and played, uh, desperate and hungry, you know. And then I think that's something we can take away from that, knowing how every team is going to come into this arena. Going back to kind of the, those last two minutes down by one, what, what did you think of the the, the shot selection that that your that your guys that you guys made and and maybe even passing up some shots? I know there's a 24 second shot clock violation, but what did you how, what did you think about the late game execution, knowing what, what's going to come in the playoffs? Well, being able to go back and look at the film is one piece of it. You know, the, the other part we we found some mismatches. They double teamed. We made the right play. We were trying to make one more pass. Shot clock violation. You know, you can't fault them for trying to make the right play. Cole was wide open in the corner on that on that Jalen on Jalen's backdoor cut. So being able to get good looks, you know, being willing and wanting to share the ball in that moment, you, you have to say that's what you want your guys to do. Coach, Joe Ingles had kind of extended minutes from the third into the fourth quarter. Was that more so you liked the matchup with him in there, or was it, you know, just getting Jalen some extra rest to, to finish the game out? Some of it was a – it's going to be a combination within the games. You know, I, I liked the way in which he was playing, playmaking, distributing, communicating on the floor, his poise, um, the, the leadership there was great. And then, you know, obviously – Jalen chasing Steph all over the court. Uh, I think being able to get him extended breast at that moment was very important to us as well. Thank you, Coach Mosley. Thank you, guys. Appreciate yeah, I'll it. Be back with, uh... Cool, you guys were able to pull within one with just a little over two minutes to go. You know, what did, what did you see as the reasons that, that 
he was able to slip away and they were able to pull, pull away down the stretch? Um, a few things, man. I mean, um, there was a uh, some offensive rebounds where um. You know, we play good uh, defense for a possession, and all of a sudden, offensive rebound layup or offensive rebound dagger three. So I'd say that's probably a big part of it. And then obviously, you know, Steph's going to do what Steph's going to do. And I thought we, we did a pretty good job on him for a lot of the game, but, you know, he gets going at the end and, you know, gets a little bit out of our reach just because of those, those stuff, like, stuff like that. I mean, miss free throw. It, it's a lot of stuff I could sit here and name, but, you know, we just we got to be better. Cole, just just kind of how frustrating is the missed free throws? You know, that's that's something that's completely within your guys your guys' control to to, to be able to hit as a, as a team. And I know it may not necessarily be one one guy, just maybe kind of an accumulation. But but what is it about the free throws? It seems like it's been a problem all year. Yeah, I mean, the stuff that we can control is always frustrating when you don't control it. So um, we just you know we just got to hit free throws, man. We get we get into the line. That's half the battle. I don't think we've struggled getting to the line all season. But you know, we just got to lock in. Whether it takes an extra second, just a deep breath, whatever it is, we guys got to hit free throws. I mean, I'm guilty myself, so I mean, I got to work on it too. Team high 26 for you tonight. Just what did you make of not just your effort tonight, even though it didn't come in a winning effort, and then the second unit as a whole, just playing well together? Um, I mean, all credit to the team, man. I mean, they got me some open looks, which helped me get going. And, um, you know, felt good to hit a few shots, but, you know, win would have win would have been a lot better. So, I mean, we just, we got to lock in. That's, that's a team that has championship, a lot of championship experience. And has been in many close games, and you know, once they kind of got us big on, once they kind of got up big, they, I mean, we got it within one, but we were never able to over over uh, turn that tide. So, um, you know, it's hard to play down. So we just, you know, we got to come ready from the jump. And if kind of speaking on that point, you know, you were you were on the bench for at least the first half of that first first quarter. But what what did you see was the problem in, in the first quarter? You know, putting yourselves in that in that much of a hole. I mean, that was part of it too. I mean, I played a little bit that first quarter, and you know, we got down too. I think we 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 missed a lot of shots. We missed shots. I mean, we, we weren't doing a great job of guarding. I'd say that first quarter. What was that? Their I think that was their highest scoring quarter, right? So I mean, we we got to do a better job of that. We and we can't let uh miss shots for us. I thought honestly in the first quarter, I thought we had got a lot of good looks. They just weren't falling. And second quarter, you know, they started falling. But you know, you get in a hole against a good team, like not a good team, against a really good team like that. You know, they're going, they they know how to play with a lead. What does it say about the team that you guys were able to kind of fight back, fight back from from that much that much of a hole, even even with shots not falling? I mean, we got a heck of a group. I mean, we've seen, I've seen it all year. We just uh, we can't put ourselves in that situation. I call situations like that. You know, that's 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 us beating ourselves, where you know we let missed shots affect defense. Of kind of just affect everyone's mood, you know. People start putting their heads down, and you know I'm guilty of it myself, obviously. But um, we just we guys as a unit just be ready to go from the jump. Thank you. Paolo, you guys were able to cut their lead down to one with a little over two minutes to go but then they were able to pull away down the stretch. What did you see uh, as the reason for them to, to gain that separation? Uh, I think they just made timely shots at the right time. Uh, I think you know some of their best players uh, made some tough shots to keep, keep their lead at arm's length. What did they, how did they make it challenging for you guys to hit shots earlier? Were those just not falling? Or what did you think led to that offensive struggle in the start for you guys? Uh, I, I'm not sure. You know, sometimes it just goes down like that, where you know, come out, miss, miss a couple in a row, and it uh, just trickles down. So, uh, no, I don't think there's really any specific reason, but it's had some tough, tough, tough misses. With with the game, with the game close there at the end, what did you what did you see offensive offensively um, with with some of the, with uh, some of the shots that you guys got down the stretch? Uh, I mean. I think Cole probably had it going the most, um, especially in that second half. Uh, he has some uh, has some looks. Me and Franz had some looks, but uh, credit to them, they did a good job, um, you know, defending and making making the shots tough. How did you guys kind of overcome the the frustration of of that first quarter? Um, you know, it, it, you know, just kind of trying to fight back in, into the game. Yeah, I mean, it's a long game. Uh, so when you go down early, you know you got you know 36 minutes to get back. So I think you don't get too discouraged, you know, if you go down in the first quarter. 
Well, it was 54 points in the paint for Golden State tonight. You know, what did you guys just make about the defensive rotations, maybe not getting back into the paint and contesting a lot of those shots closer to the rim? Uh, I mean, I think we contested a lot of shots at the rim. Uh, you know, they're a, good, a great shooting team, got some great shooters, so you want to get them off the line, and uh, that opens up driving lanes. And um, I think, you know, I think that's what you live with, you know. They only scored <clears throat> 100, which for that team is is good defensively. We just couldn't find it offensively. Cole's been up and down this season, but since the All-Star break, it seems like he's figured out on offense just how important is that in these final nine games of the season, in the postseason, for Cole to, you know, find his shot on offense? Uh, it's very important. You know, we definitely need his energy, his scoring, um, you know, night in, night out. So, you know, it sucks that no one else could help him, but uh, it's, it's good to see him, you know, playing that well. Paulo, even when the team wasn't doing so well, it seemed like you guys were within an arm's length. with. Missing the amount of free throws that you guys have missed, how frustrating is it to to lose a game like this when you miss ten free throws as a team? Yeah, I mean it's really frustrating. You know, uh, free throws are, <clears throat> you know, they're they come they decide. You know, wins and losses. You know, we lost by eight and missed ten free throws. You know, we make eight more. We're in overtime and maybe win the game. So you just gotta. You know, hopefully we can work on them. And obviously, I mean, I could have shot better from the line too. So I think it's just a, a team-wide thing that we got to get better at. How how important is it going to be moving forward to control those kinds of things that you can control, like making free throws? You know, Golden State was able to attack the glass a lot, the offensive glass a lot tonight. How important is it to kind of control those things as as you guys move closer to the playoffs? Uh, it's important. Uh, those are uh, little things that matter. So uh, those those you know decide whether you win or lose, especially in the postseason. So definitely got to uh, clean up in some of those areas. Thanks, Steve. Thank you. <clears throat>